If you look up Tesla batteries, they typically have a capacity of 250 to 260 watt hours a kilogram, allowing for a range of around 320 miles. So if a battery achieves a density of 500 watt hours a kg, as Elon Musk plans to put in his EVs, what would happen? It's easy to think of numbers like 600 or even the 700 mile range. What seemed impossible and only appeared in this dream is now very close to reality, as Cattle has developed a type of battery called a condensed battery, the highest energy density battery currently out there, and it's been confirmed to be manufactured by the end of the year. With this type of battery, the race among automakers will become more explosive than ever. Whoever gets it first will win. So why would Elon Musk be hard-pressed to overlook this battery? In the face of the rapid development of electric vehicles and the expensive mundane nature of conventional lithium-ion batteries, it's clear that numerous new types of batteries are being researched to elevate electric vehicles to a new level. However, the challenges are numerous because not every type of battery succeeds and becomes an ideal replacement for lithium. As you know, lithium batteries have become the gold standard for automakers worldwide, but finally, something truly promising has emerged. At the Auto Shanghai exhibition, China's contemporary Amperex technology cattle drew significant attention by announcing their breakthrough development of a new condensed battery. With an energy density of up to 500 watt hours per kilogram, it far surpasses the 2 to 300 watt hour kilogram range of conventional lithium ion batteries. Cattle also stated that this represents a 70 to 80 percent increase over current NCM batteries, which is astounding. Cattle is confident that if these condensed batteries are used in a standard electric vehicle today, they will improve the driving range by more than 80 percent without increasing the weight of the battery pack. The company asserts that the superior energy density of the new battery will usher in a new era for high-performance electric vehicles and even electrified passenger aircraft. This time, Cattle truly aims to use this battery to mark a significant advancement in battery technology in the transportation industry. If this battery truly achieves such remarkable energy density, we believe it is leading the world, considering that solid-state batteries only reach up to 400 watt-hours a kg. What does this mean for electric vehicles? Well, it means they can travel much longer distances on a single charge using smaller and lighter battery packs. It also means that Cattle's condensed batteries have the potential to become the preferred choice. So what is a condensed battery, and how did Cattle achieve such greatness? The knowledge about condensed battery may still be new to most of us because, after all, it is a new type of battery. Its structure may also seem confusing, but we will summarize it for you. You need to know that any type of battery has four main components – anode, cathode, separator, and electrolyte. Cattle's condensed battery uses a gel polymer electrolyte, a semi-solid product with condensed electrolytes, and new anode and separator materials. Cattle uses a semi-solid electrolyte to adjust its mesh structure and regulate the interaction forces between its polymer chains. The company claims that this improves electrical conductivity and lithium-ion transport within the electrolyte while enhancing the stability of the microstructure, thereby improving the safety of the battery. The new type of battery utilizes condensed electrolytes resembling biometric materials with high electrical conductivity to enhance the electrical conduction efficiency of the cells. This, in turn, improves the transport efficiency of lithium ions while enhancing the stability of the microstructure. If you don't understand, here's the simplest example. Okay, imagine you have a toy car that needs batteries to run. Cattle is a company that manufactures a special type of battery that helps toy cars run faster and last longer. These batteries use a special material, like a kind of magical clay, to mimic how things work in nature. This magical clay-like substance has tiny grids inside, like spider webs. These grids can change how they stick together, making it easier for electricity to flow through them. This helps the battery provide extra energy in the toy car, making it run faster and last longer before you need to recharge. Cattle stated that the condensed batteries integrate a range of advanced technologies, including high-density cathode materials, improved anode materials, separator, and manufacturing processes, delivering excellent charging and discharging performance, as well as a good safety performance. During the presentation, it was evident that Cattle manufactured these batteries in pouch form and prismatic cell configurations that were showcased. So why is this condensed battery important to Tesla? What advantages does it have? 
Of course, currently Tesla, as well as Elon Musk, have not made any moves related to this type of battery because we all know that using any type of battery requires a long period of monitoring for suitability and performance that the battery provides for electric vehicles. However, the potential for Elon Musk to bring it to Tesla is not non-existent, considering only the relationship between cattle and Tesla, as well as the immense energy density of condensed batteries. Negotiations could still take place at any time. So, why do we think these condensed batteries are suitable for Tesla's electric vehicles? Here's why. Around 2030, the United Kingdom will ban internal combustion engine cars, and many European countries as well as U.S. states are also following this trend. It's no coincidence that the U.S. government has created a federal tax credit of $7,500 to encourage people to buy electric. In the next decade, buying a gas-powered car is going to be difficult. But when it comes to electric cars, including Tesla, even though their performance has improved significantly in recent years, many still have concerns about their relatively limited range. It's clear that Tesla's unable to reach a 500-mile range over the years, with a Model S currently leading at 402 miles. The first and most obvious benefit of such high-energy density batteries is to increase the range of Tesla's electric vehicles. A cell with 500 watt-hours of kg replacing a cell with 250 watt-hours in a pack would double the range of an electric vehicle that can travel with the battery of the same weight or have the weight of the pack to achieve the same range. In other words, a luxury car that could go 300 miles on a single charge can now hit up to 700 miles in a day's drive without needing to recharge. With an energy density of 500 watts per kilogram, if installed in a Tesla Model 3 long range, which typically travels around 341 miles, it'd get a range of nearly 700, even 800 miles, because the weight of the car is significantly reduced with this condensed battery pack. The Model 3 long range currently uses 2170 cells, with a specific energy of 0.269 kilowatt hours a kilogram. If they were replaced with cattle condensed batteries with half a kilowatt hour per kg, the operating range would increase by 86%, which is truly astounding. These breakthroughs in battery technology will open up new business models, facilitating the transition to sustainable electric vehicles with various applications. With these condensed batteries, Cattle currently emphasizes its tremendous energy density without disclosing other technical specifications such as charging efficiency, charge discharge rates, safety range, and lifespan. But according to our recent observations, the new battery technologies of manufacturers will almost all adopt 4C charging technology to allow the battery to have an extremely crazy charging speed. The two new batteries, Shenzhen and Shenzhen Plus, both charge to 80% in just 10 to 15 minutes without any problems with life degradation. Even with the sodium ion battery that Cattle's developing, the full charge time is only 10 minutes. So condensed batteries are definitely going to inherit this technology or even do better because we cannot know what Cattle's going to achieve in the future. The world's leading battery manufacturers always got the craziest inventions and achievements, you know? It'd be fantastic to know more about the cost and materials used in manufacturing these types of batteries. If they aren't too expensive when produced on a large scale, then the issue of electric vehicle range will be completely eliminated, ultimately leading to the eradication of internal combustion engines. However, it's disheartening that alongside operational metrics, Cattle hasn't disclosed any information about the cost of the new cells or the materials required to produce them at the product launch event in Shanghai. Cattle's decision not to disclose the cost of condensed batteries could indeed imply that they haven't achieved a reasonable price point yet. This is understandable because everything is still in the early stages, and they may not have even entered production lines to estimate costs accurately. However, considering the average price of Cattle's existing battery types, they still remain relatively affordable compared to the general market prices. The price of Cattle's batteries are indeed experiencing a significant decline. By 2024, the cost of Cattle's lithium iron phosphate batteries had dropped to around $56 a kilowatt hour, with expectations to further go down to $36 by the end of the year. While costs may continue to decrease over time, we suspect that customers will have to wait a while before these 500 watt hour a kilogram cells become affordable enough to be used in competitively priced cars on the market, including what Tesla has to offer. How long until the condensed battery can be mass produced at scale? Cattle is indeed massive, truly massive. If you think companies like Samsung produce a lot of batteries, that's just a drop in the bucket compared to cattle. Last year, they accounted for about 34% of the total new lithium battery capacity. This makes them the world's largest battery manufacturer with absurd profit margins because their output is twice as high as LG Energy, who holds second spot. Therefore, manufacturing a new battery technology is never a big challenge for them. As for condensed batteries, Cattle has stated that the new manufacturing process could enable mass production of these batteries to begin by the end of the year. 
Wu Kai, Cattle's chief scientist, stated the company is collaborating with undisclosed partners to ensure that condensed batteries meet safety and quality standards for use. Not only for electric vehicles, Cattle also announced that due to the small size and high safety of condensed batteries, they will be first used in the aviation sector, especially for manned electric aircraft, as an experiment to assess their application for electric vehicles simultaneously. Cattle's collaborating with several companies to utilize these batteries, and the manufacturers will be announced soon. The reason why these condensed batteries become necessary is because until now, commercial lithium-ion batteries haven't provided enough energy to fully electrify aviation. By nearly doubling the energy density, Cattle opens up the possibility for short and medium-range aircraft to run entirely on batteries. Manufacturing batteries that meet aviation-grade quality and safety requirements poses its own challenges, and the battery giant sees its new condensed battery as a final breakthrough that'll propel electrified aviation forward. The only reason there's any skepticism about putting batteries on planes is because batteries are usually heavy and the last thing a plane needs is any more weight. But Cattle's condensed batteries solve all that through materials and now we can fly like birds without running out of power or exploding in mid-air. We vaguely recall a year or two, perhaps Elon Musk or Sandy Monroe, saying that the high-energy density batteries needed for flight were technically possible but prohibitively expensive for most other uses like cars. If this condensed battery is successful for electric aviation, it's likely that Elon Musk will soon have a successor company, which isn't entirely out of the question given his desire to electrify every vehicle in the world and his ambitions for aviation. Why condensed batteries will soon be in electric vehicles? If you carefully observe Cattle's new battery technologies, you'll clearly see that Cattle's not just a dreamer, but also a doer. Cattle not only talks the talk, but walks the walk when it comes to all new battery technologies soon to be featured in electric vehicles. And surely condensed batteries are no exception. Now, let's see how Cattle has managed to create seemingly impossible battery technologies. In 2021, Cattle introduced the first generation sodium ion battery with an energy density of 160 watt hours a kilogram, promising to increase it to 200 watt hours a kg for the next generation. In early April of this year, the manufacturer also confirmed that Cherry in China would become the first automaker to utilize sodium ion battery technology. Unlike lithium ion batteries, sodium ion batteries use sodium instead of lithium as the primary element. Sodium ion batteries have several advantages such as low raw material cost, high safety, temperature independence, and suitability for fast charging. They're like the salt of the earth, both literally and figuratively. However, they also have some drawbacks such as lower energy density and shorter lifespan, making them less appealing as an energy storage option. As a result, sodium ion batteries have been largely overlooked by most automotive manufacturers. But Cattle persists with it because the manufacturer believes that sodium is much more accessible than lithium and can be found in many places such as seawater, soil, even within our bodies, potentially making sodium ion batteries a viable alternative to lithium down the road. Cattle seized this opportunity and developed its own sodium ion batteries, improving energy density and lifespan, potentially making them compatible with existing lithium ion battery systems. According to Wu Kai, their sodium ion battery exhibits excellent low temperature performance and fast charging capabilities. It can withstand temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius and charge up to 80% in just 15 minutes. This means that people in cold regions can finally benefit from electric vehicles without worrying about freezing or waiting for hours to recharge. Barring any unexpected issues, this will be one of the world's first mass-produced sodium ion batteries. In over a decade since its establishment, Cattle has consistently focused on developing and delivering practical products. In 2022, Cattle introduced the Quillen battery, applying CTP, that's cell-to-pack technology, and ternary lithium materials. CTP stands for cell-to-pack, meaning that battery cells are directly integrated into the battery pack without the need for separate modules or intermediate components. This reduces the weight and volume of the battery pack while enhancing energy efficiency and safety. Achieving an impressive system energy density of 250 watt hours per kilogram, it has become one of the highest energy density ternary lithium batteries out there today. This advanced technology has quickly been put to use. The smart electric SUV Xpeng 001 equipped with Quillen batteries can easily surpass a thousand kilometers on a single charge and will be delivered to customers this year. Cattle not only manufactures batteries, but also works wonders in technology. Ideal, a recent partner of Cattle, has announced that they'll use the Quillen batteries to support 4C charging, enabling a 400-kilometer range to be fully charged in just 10 minutes. 
faster than drinking a cup of coffee. This charging speed is nearly equivalent to refueling with gas, but without the smell and pollution. It's no surprise Time Magazine honored the Quillen battery as one of the best inventions of 2022. Truly a marvel of engineering. It's worth noting that lithium batteries have been reaching saturation for decades, and according to some experts, so-called solid-state batteries are just inflated flames with promises. They've been touted as the next big thing, but have never been able to deliver on their promises. However, Cattle's condensed batteries, with their remarkable data, have the potential to become a significant milestone in the history of energy storage. We've achieved what others could only dream of. There's a sense that while others are still talking, Cattle has been doing. In fact, Cattle has always been a doer, not just a talker. In over a decade since its establishment, they have consistently focused on developing and delivering practical and innovative products like condensed batteries. Cattle was established in 2011 and is considered the world's largest manufacturer of lithium-ion batteries. By 2022, the company held a 37% global market share in electric vehicles and a 43.4% market share in large-scale energy worldwide. Cattle supplies Tesla with lithium-ion phosphate batteries for its Shanghai factory in China, and Ford Motor Company has announced plans to build a factory in Michigan to manufacture LFP batteries using technology that's licensed from Cattle. We hope Cattle will begin mass production of condensed batteries this year. Then we'll be able to see how much they cost and how long they'll last. As Cattle has indicated, plans to use them in various applications, including cars. We hope they'll be reliable or even better than the conventional cells used today. While initially condensed batteries with high energy efficiency may come at a higher price, competition will drive the prices down and over time, they may become cheaper than current types of batteries. This is because condensed batteries have higher energy density, requiring less material per kilowatt hour of stored energy, and thus have the potential for cheaper production. Price reductions could happen quite rapidly, and we predict that battery prices will significantly decrease in the coming years. So, what do you think about the potential of the condensed battery for electric vehicles over the next few years? Will Elon be bringing it to Tesla? We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.